Welcome Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus to your September reading with Robin's Realm Readings. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Whoops, sorry. My head tapped the camera. The camera is now on the right side of my head, so things are a little different in my layout. Um, and I moved my table so I had a different kind of lighting. I certainly hope you can see it well. So I'm going to start your reading with the Sacred Geometry Activation Oracle and get you into the psychic space. Um, geometrically where you are right now. Capricorn, everything's in your damn sign. What are you doing? How are you dealing with Pluto and Saturn? How are you dealing with all this energy in your chart? I imagine you're really like, really dealing with things hardcore. So let me start my reading by giving you an anointing, telling you thank you for being here, for being faithful subscribers. Be sure to like the video if you do. Uh, if you resonate, and if you like the video, you have a greater chance of getting a bonus reading, a follow-up reading. Um, for Let me anoint the space first. Me? Okay, thank you. This is anointing oil that I make. It's absolutely phenomenal. If you'd like some, you can go to my website and order it, robinsrealmreadings.com. All right, let me hit my bell to set the tone for with the solar plexus. Clearing the space. One more thing before I start. I have to light my candles. <laughs> Hello, my lovely Capricorns. I'm so grateful for your presence in my life. Light up, baby. I've been collecting white ceramic for some time. I'm absolutely gaga over it. And now my friend joined me up to the Plant of the Month Club. So now, Miss Robin, when she gets a chance, she goes shopping for beautiful white containers. I found that beautiful candle holder. And I'm thinking to myself, how could somebody walk by that? Maybe they're just not into it. So it's like everything. Maybe we're just not into it. And so I'm hearing a message for you guys. Don't make fast judgments about anything, okay? Here we go, Capricorn, the spiritual message for you and the energy they're seeing for you. I'm going to give you two. I'm also going to do Cusper, Sagittarian Capricorn Cusp, general reading, and then the Cuspers that go to Aquarius. I was doing couples I decided to hold off because if you are here to watch this video, it will relate one way or another for you, and you'll know if it's your story or not. And it, it could be anything, any kind of influence in your life that shows up, Capricorn, to change your trajectory. So here we go. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. These two come up. You're getting two. There's powerful energy afflicting you guys right at this moment. What are they? First one. Prosperity is here for you. You can use this energy that's going on in the world right now to prosper yourself. It says that this is a frequency available to you for abundance. Prosperity and abundance are technically the same thing. If you understand abundance, abundance isn't just money or things. Sometimes the abundance is the understanding or people coming back to you or people recognizing you or the gifts, the energy flowing back and forward just predominantly, um, exponentially, where you feel amazed. It's a frequency allowing the inclusion of everything that makes our body, mind, heart, and soul, and spirit sing. It invites us to express ourselves in joy and celebration of the abundance and riches that the universe provides. So I'm hearing with this also requiring a state of gratitude. Be grateful for what you have. Communicate your needs to the universe, to your higher guides. Speak with your friends often. Keep the channels going. Keep the channels fluctuating, the power fluctuating for you. Can you see that? Let me look. No, you can't. Excuse me. i got to pull my camera up a little. Oh, gosh. Excuse me. I'm going to change the lighting in here. What? I wonder if that helps. Tell me that helps. <laughs> Much better. Okay. Well, 
One moment. Got to reset my timer. The next message we have for you as you're going through a transition, number 43. So these are both very powerful numbers. Um, it's a, this looks like DNA's transferring and things changing from within. The frequency supports your understanding of everything that's changing, the nature and existence of your life. So you can learn to let go, surrender to the process, and allow this transition to occur. Now listen to this, keywords, with grace and ease. With ease and grace. We're trying to control. It's not going to work. That doesn't work with the universe. All right. So let me, uh, let me check my time because this isn't working. What's wrong with you? Hold on a minute. My timer's not working right. Pause. Okay, my wonderful, lovely Capricorns. The first thing I'm going to do is a little quick reading to include the energies of those of you who still have that fire element, the Sagittarian Capricorn cusp. And the Sagittarius Capricorn cusp is December 18th to the 24th. I included that at the end of Sagittarians. You will find my extended love readings on my Patreon account. For right now, it is my favorite place to do it. There's been nothing but grief with YouTube and Vimeo. I'm tired of it. They make it seem like it should be easy, but it's not because what we have is a system and a society that's upgrading and changing everything, whether you like it or not. So the algorithms change, the way things work changes, and you find yourself tied up for days and hours trying to figure out how to reset your settings on things. I'm like, fuck that. I'm just going to do my readings, and if somebody really, really wants to go farther, they will look at my Patreon and they will see what's provided there. As a matter of fact, when I'm done with today's readings, I'm going to do a beautiful soul path reading for my all of my Patreon members. I do weekly, but I and I do a lot of uploads. Here you go. Your main energy is commitment. This could be a commitment to someone else, commitment to something new. It looks like you liken it because it's ruby, it's red. What else is showing up? Commitment. Look at that. Cuspers, many of you are in love now. You have found a soulmate. Oh, my God. Look at that. Wow, I cannot deny how good that looks. I'm just, I'm going to change the labels on all of my readings. What else? <clears throat> There's someone in your environment that's not telling you the whole truth. You need to watch everybody. Um... I'm not sure who this is, but they're not telling you everything or they're trying to get into your good graces because you're on the upswing. It could also be that this lover you're wanting to commit to may not be telling you everything, but they're opening up your deep spiritual heart space. They're getting into the places nobody else has ever been able to get. They've unlocked your hidden locked cage. It is beautiful. They have the key to your heart. Tell me more. But there's, they could be a twin flame because 11 is my twin flame number. It is the number of the other uh, side of you or the other side of life. This is someone having to tame their passions, tame their anger, tame their personality. That could be what this person is trying to hide. So watch this, you guys. If you're hearing this reading, you're being concerned. You're being warned to be concerned about this person, okay? So let me see what Tarot says about this. Tell me what this is for the Cuspers. And tell me how love looks for them in September. Capricorn, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Cusp. Okay. I got it. I got it. I play them until they be, they come upright. Here we go. Wow. Someone's deciding either to commit to you or to um, 
how they're going to do this. They're trying to decide how they're going to do this. This is Aries Leo Sagittarius, and what it is is the pathway. It's the journey. It's taking the energy and moving forward with a choice. So this is like choice in love. The, the soulmate is bringing about an expectation of complete wish fulfillment, like I'm finally fucking happy for once. I found the love of my life. It could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Now, the false mask is because someone's warm for you and wants your sexual energy and your power. Um, Aries Leo Sagittarius. But here you are standing and being very firm on your guidelines and your restrictions, Sag Caps. You're really not letting anybody mess with you. This could be, uh, you're, you're not changing, you're not saying, oh no, you can come in, or oh no, yeah, we can have sex now, or oh no. You're like, nope, no. So you may be blocking someone who just wants you for sex too. Then you have this divine opening of your space. Now this is Scorpio in, in reverse. You're having a hard time letting go of past experiences, um, past letdowns possibly with a Scorpio. And you're not waiting around to find out hangman is in reverse. That's usually considered Pisces. But here you have the fool. So you have put yourself on a brand new trajectory because you draw lines. You've drawn it to yourself. This here is somebody in the past. Somebody you had a bad temper. You didn't want to walk away from. They still want you. The problem is, is that Cancer Scorpio Pisces, they've already walked away and they want to come back again? I don't think so. Romance Angels, tell me what you see for this Cuspers. Romance Angels, tell me, what is this? Please... This one wanted to come out. So this is someone who wants you to come back uh, and go and retreat with them. Someone, a water sign, will find out if they, they have any power over you because you, you have a new choice now. You're going towards commitment and you're going to find it. Tell me why. Reconciliation. Some of you will reconcile after a separation. But here you have someone new in your environment. It could apply to any one of you. And here at Queen of Swords, stay optimistic about your love life. You have a future commitment coming in. I cannot deny what I see. I wish you love. Let me see what the moon says about these moods. This could be any one of you at any time. Of course, you know if it does relate, you let me know that. You First of all, let me know that by hitting that like button. And then to let YouTube know that they like what I'm bringing to you. I have to have that um, involvement. Also, and I'm not begging, it is so that I can just stay on here. It's a simple thing. It's like if you eat, you have energy. Correct? So, my loves, here we go. Moon energy for you is you're very close to achieving that goal, Queen of Swords. And you are good enough. Don't let anybody tell you differently. Cuspers, that was for you. For Sag Capricorn Cuspers. Wonderful. Interesting energy you guys are dealing with. Let's get on to the main reading for my beautiful Capricorns in general. That felt like a general energy to me. Okay? Here we go, beloveds. General energy for Capricorn, someone rising Venus, all spectrums. All spectrums. If you relate to this video, this is your video. If you don't relate to it, please consider your looking up the video that contains your rising sign, your moon sign, which will be your mood states. You'll probably want to look at that anyway. Um, and then, of course, your Venus sign, if it is not in Capricorn. You want to know how love is affecting you. Go to your Venus or your moon sign. Your rising sign is about the character. It's about what's coming towards you. It's about how people see you. It's about your whole, uh, your whole experience. You bring it all in through your sun sign. That's how I'm reaching you. Here we go. Some of you are watching where you're going. You're being guided from the other side. You're being very introspective and also extrospective. Some of you are feeling loss financially, feeling loss, um, or feeling loss of something. Something's eating away at you. Uh, we also have a couple here. It's is a divine union, and um, it's moody, but it is a divine union. Then we have friendship, uh, ending a friendship possibly. Maybe it's this friend that was eating away your time, taking your time. Or it could have been someone you fell in love with. Bad luck, getting away from bad luck. Oh, my 
God. Capricorn. Wow, prosperity and transition. What is the transition about? You're watching very carefully how you go about your next move. That's what I see. I see somebody possibly closing out a, a relationship because there's bad juju, bad behaviors, toxic behaviors, sickening, a friendship who's, remember in the first reading, Sag Capricorns, you had someone with the false mask on. And that could be someone who didn't tell you they loved you or didn't feed into the relationship properly. Someone flew the coop. Okay, someone flew the coop. That's what they gave me. So explain this to me, please, for my Capricorns. Give me a card for each of these energies so I can explain it to them. Anything comes out in reverse, I will pull more cards to clarify. Wow. Till I get an upright card, I'm pulling. Okay. That's you. You're leaving away bad luck. You're leaving bad luck. You couldn't see. You couldn't see what this person was hiding from you. You're on your path. You're leaving. This is a, a broken friendship of some kind. Capricorn, all you wanted to do was stay home and be happy and celebrate. But this person brought something to you or is bringing something to you in September um, that... It's going to shake your world. What is this? So you're examining all the details. You're looking, maybe spying. This is uh, Knight of Pentacles. This is someone that is not faithful. Or this is you pulling back your energy, Capricorn, from uh, a love situation for now. Um, not ready to make that offer right now. Okay? Not yet. Maybe not even financially secure yet. Yeah, King of Pentacles is in reverse. You don't feel as financially secure enough to commit to someone yet. And you have lovers in reverse, so this is someone that you loved. It could be a part-time lover. could be a temporary lover that came off as a friend. It could be a husband or a spouse. Um, your resources are low. You're feeling it. You're feeling heartbroken because something somebody uh, did. Uh, they could have taken advantage of you and eaten away all your resources as well. Could have been a lover, Gemini energy. Um, the world is here, so you have someone who's not able to determine how to make this next move forward. And all you want is Six of Pentacles. You want your money back. You want your stability. You want relationships that are going to feed into you and give you a positive outcome and at least minimally an equalization, a balance. Come and put as much energy into this relationship as you're taking out of it. And I think you just owned yourself. You're like, mm -mm. I'm the Empress. And you're eating away at my resources, my energy, my future, my abundance. And I'm very, very, very pissed about it. Let me have clarification on two cards here. You're obviously making a move. You're moving away from some deceitful bullshit. That's what I get. Now, we're going to see what's coming towards you in love. Okay? I see your intentions. Your intentions are to be creative and go forward. Choosing a proper path. Leaving what didn't serve you behind, even if it hurt. Fuck you, I'm out of here, is what I heard. I'm out of here. You're not taking my energy. You're not, see? Karma. That is the moon, that is karma, that is someone hiding secrets from you. Tell me more. And you're moving away from it. Thank you, Jesus. Appreciate that. Tell me about the four of wands and the couple. There is an offer. Someone may be coming to you to make an offer. It could be an empress. Uh, Leo. Leo energy shows up here. How beautiful. Tell me about our general energy. This is where you have enlightenment now. This part's good, you guys. This part's good. Some of you are in a good relationship, or you're at least getting good patterns. You do a lot of your best work at night. Um, this is home, family, for wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, celebration, joyous jubilee. This is someone making a solid offer, financial offer to you, uh, or getting an offer in business. Um, 
and you're happy about it because now the sun shines out and gives you an opportunity to move away from stuff that didn't serve you. Claim yourself. Seek your balance in reciprocity. Whoever you are, you're going to put into this relationship or it's over and you move away because you don't want the bad luck that's been coming your way. You're going to have to be constraining. In your extended reading on you on a Patreon, you're going to find sacred messages even more so than here. I'm just keeping it real basic so we can get on to the energies and see what you're dealing with in September. Tell me love. Capricorn chemistry is showing up. So you've got intense chemistry with someone. Uh, and then over here you've got free yourself. This could be the one. Leo, another earth sign or a fire sign. Um, some of you, it said reconciliation, but I think it's more in the form of, I'm not taking that. It's more in the form of forgiveness instead of reconciliation. Sometimes reconciling is just saying, okay, it is what it is. I'm moving on. Unrequited love. They're not going to tell you that's the secret they've been keeping. And so their lesson is forgiving and learning. Moodology, core, moodology card for you guys is you and your loved ones are safe. That's a good message for you. You're very close to achieving your goal. And, of course, at this time since you're moving on, nothing is set in stone. So, darlings, follow me. I'm going to do the uh, follow-up cusp reading at this time for the Capricorn Aquarians right now. Thank you so much, my loves. I love you. I hope I see you on my Patreon. Anyone who joins for $5 or more gets a, a beautiful printed membership certificate from me. I'm working on my printer right now. I've got about four of them to send out. My, my group, my Robins Room Reading Love Tribe is growing, and everyone in my Patreon that I know of is a high-powered, high-vibrational being. They are, they've done a lot of work on themselves, and they know that what I bring to them is from hardcore experience and psychic intuition and impressions. Here we go. We're going to do the cusp. Aquarian Capricorn cusp right now. Capricorn Aquarius. So show me their energy, please. One. No reversals on these. Two. Three, four. One more, please. Five. Oh, shit. All right. Aquarians have a different perspective than Capricorn, but there's if you are on the cusp, which actually is um, January 16th to the 23rd. If you are there, this is your reading for now, for September. Some of you are trying to get fairness out of a, a, some kind of institute, a building, um, a business, the government. You're trying to seek balance in a relationship. You're looking for healing. It's coming. Healing and wellness and insight are coming. Many of you have had to have super deaths of the ego and to come into balance with your fears because you've de been dealt a pretty icky hand in love. And you've got bad luck here. And then you have you finally coming out of it. So you start with a six, an ending. Nine and one is ten. Some of you are ending something, and you end with finally coming out of the cold, finally getting over the pain. So let's see what the messages are for you. January 16th to the 23rd. If this is your time, this is your time. Tell me the energy that goes with all these cards, please, for my beautiful uh, Capricorn Aquarius. I'm so glad to include you in my readings. I really am delighted that you're here with me. Show me some love. I'm here to love you. Oh, wow. You don't know. You don't know what's going to happen next. This is the mindset. This is Aquarius. Cap Capricorn, this is Aquarius in you. This is your Aquarian being at the crossroads. Not seeing everything that you need to see. But uh, some details are being left out. You have the sun, which is healing and wholeness and pulling in the energy. Capric uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, which is love. 
empathy, kindness, mercy, compassion, um, dignity. She's, she's all of that for you. She's in your space, whether you are with that person or not. The transition is about the faith that you've had in, in traditions and expectations. It's completely different now. You've completely changed. This is Taurus energy. You could have lost a Taurus as well. Um, bad luck is about um, not feeling strong enough to make any changes right now. This is uh, Leo energy, but it is interesting because you have the sun here, which is also Leo energy. But this represents your energy, your situation. This is possibly a Leo coming to help you have strength, work with you, talk with you, talk you through things. The coming out of the cold, coming out of the shadow period, coming out of the dark, coming out of the pain, and seeing things clearly. Nine of Swords, finally getting over the, the worry, the anxiety, the fear, the not knowing, the feeling lost, the feeling taken advantage of, the lack of respect, the lack of clarity. You're finally getting clarity. And you're getting a brand new opportunity to journey forward as the fool does. I get a brand new start. A brand new start. Let me quickly pull you some love cards. And invite you to join me on Patreon. This is for the um, people born in January 16th through the 23rd. Romance says, wow, this might have something to do with the wedding. Yours or someone else's. Calling in your soulmate is an energy that you produce uh, positive outcomes here for yourself. Tell me more. There is chemistry with somebody. This could be the one. So some of you have met the one. It could be this beautiful water sign. Um, and you're having to change the way you believe to be with them. You think it's you have to overcome all religious convictions for this person. They are the one worth waiting for. So some of you are being taught, taught about this transition and about what prosperity really is in the spirit. Monology, one card please. A time to give rather than to take. One more and I'm done. The answers you need are coming, beautifuls. So that's your reading. Thank you for joining me, everyone. All my customers and my beautiful Capricorns in general. May you be blessed. May you have what you need. Be strong and um, happy. Namaste. Bye.